Hello and welcome to another episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. Please press the subscribe button now. Today I will make a favorite dish of mine that I usually pick up at the local fast food Chinese restaurant, Kung Pao Tofu. This recipe and more can be found at thefatveganchef.com. Go ahead and look at the recipe there. I will wait. Got it? Alright, let's make some food. The tools that you will need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, a wok, a spoon, a measuring bowl or a mixing bowl, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a whisk, another spoon, a fryer and a fry stir, or you can fry it in your wok if you want, a couple of um, plastic containers, some cheesecloth, a pan with layered with paper towels in it to drain your tofu in, something heavy like a pan, and then optionally if you want to make some starch you'll also need a pan with a lid on it to cook your starch. For the sauce, for the Kung Pao tofu, what you will need is two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon of brown sugar, three tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil, two teaspoons of Chinese rice wine, one tablespoon of chili garlic sauce, and one tablespoon of Szechuan peppercorns. The ingredients that you will need to make this dish are one pound of firm tofu that's been drained, squished, and diced, one teaspoon of finely minced ginger, one clove of garlic minced, one and a half teaspoons of cornstarch, one tablespoon of hot chili oil, one tablespoon of toasted sesame seed oil, three or more chilies, and this is to taste depending upon how hot you like it, uh, two stalks of celery that's been diced, two carrots that's been diced, one cup of roasted unsalted peanuts, one can of water chestnuts, one can of bamboo shoots, one can of baby corn, one can, can of uh, mushrooms, or you can use fresh mushrooms if you want. You'll need some extra cornstarch for your tofu, and you also need a couple of tablespoons of water. Additionally, if you want to use some starch, like rice, you can uh, do that as well to put your Kung Pao tofu on top. Uh, today I'm going to use a mixture of basmati rice, amaranth, and kaniwa. So you can use whatever you want to use. And do you have all of your ingredients gathered? Alright, let's go ahead and make some Kung Pao. First thing we're going to do is make our sauce. In our mixing bowl what we're going to do is add our two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar or one tablespoon of brown sugar, or three tablespoons of soy sauce, or two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil, or two teaspoons of Chinese rice wine, one tablespoon of garlic sauce, and our one tablespoon of Szechuan peppercorns. Now that we have all those together, we'll go ahead and mix this until they're all blended. Alright, now that it's all blended, what we'll do is set this aside and we'll go ahead and cook our tofu. Okay, next thing we're going to do is cook our tofu. And you can either cook this in a fryer like I have, or you can use a hot pan um, on a stove with some oil in it. You want If you're going to do it that way, keep your oil around 350, 360 and you should be fine. What we're going to do is we're going to put the tofu in a bowl here and then what we're going to do is we're going to lightly coat it with some cornstarch. So kind of slowly add some cornstarch to the tofu until it looks like it's all pretty well coated but you don't want it to have a thick coat and this will kind of give the tofu a, a crunchy texture. And I 
think I need just a little bit more here. This is looking good and we don't want to overload our fryer we want to put in just a little bit at a time and we want to make the tofu nice and crispy and just kind of carefully drop it in your pot oil try not to splash it too much and we'll let this fry until it's nice and golden brown Okay, I'm pulling out my last batch of tofu now. See how nice and golden brown this is? Now that we've got this all cooked, what we're going to do is go ahead and cook our Kung Pao tofu. Alright, we're ready to cook our Kung Pao uh, tofu. You want to make sure that all of your ingredients are gathered up and prepared before you cook this dish. It does cook pretty fast. First thing we want to do is put our water in our cornstarch and mix this up really good. Get out all the lumps. Alright, all the lumps are out so we're going to go ahead and set this aside and cook our tofu. First thing we want to do is add our hot chili oil and our sesame seed oil, and that's one tablespoon each. Add our celery and our carrots, and let this stir fry for a minute. Okay, now that these have stir fried for a minute, we'll go ahead and add our chili pods, our ginger, and our garlic. Okay, we've got some smell coming out of those. Now we'll add our tofu. Okay, our tofu is starting to brown, so we'll go ahead and add our mushrooms, water chestnuts, bamboo shoots, and baby corn, and we'll stir this up a little bit, get those heat up and get cooked. Okay, now all of our vegetables are nice and hot and cooked, so we'll go ahead and add our sauce. We'll let this cook for a little while. Okay, now this is starting to boil. We'll go ahead and add our toasted unsalted peanuts. Stir that in. And 
now what we'll do is we'll create a little well here. And we'll give our water and cornstarch mixer another stir to get it all nice and loose. And we'll slowly start to add that into the sauce. Get that all nice and mixed. Like that's good. That's our kung pao tofu. Let's go ahead and plate this up. Okay, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and plate our kung pao tofu. What we'll do is place a nice bit of our starch in our plate. And again, this is a mixture of basmati rice, amaroth, and kaniwa. Now what we'll do is serve some of our Kung Pao tofu on top, just like so. And doesn't that look good? I think so. And that is our Kung Pao tofu. I want to thank you for uh, watching this video. I hope that yours turns out just as good as mine did. Uh, please like and share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and other places. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel, Fat Vegan Chef, on YouTube. You can find this recipe and more at thefatveganchef.com. We are on Twitter and Facebook at The Fat Vegan Chef. Please find us and subscribe to our channels. This, and uh, now excuse me while I'm going to go ahead and eat this.